Hi folks, this is Jason, hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. We're just looking at Richard Dawkins and one writer who writes a, a very, very scholarly uh, article on Dawkins says, in short, Dawkins delivers a feast of fallacies in the God delusion, including wishful thinking, suppose that odds against the spontaneous formation of life are less than one in ten to nine, equ equivocation of the anthrop anthropic principle dating picking Jonathan Richard berates Dawkins for detailing a selection of believers largely consisting of clearly deranged nuts rather than his scholarly equals ridiculing anything he cannot understand on the apparent assumption that there must be therefore be nothing to understand and various ad hominem attacks from name calling e.g. die in the world faith heads are immune to argument to poisoning the well Tendestuously talking about E.G. Johnson who leads the creationist charge against Darwinianism in America and creationist Michael B. As we have seen, Dawkins also attempts to advance a tautology as an explanation and contra contradicts himself on several occasions. However, I have plenty to agree with the God delusion that religious faith should not be blind faith. Dawkins isn't wrong about everything. In particular, I... As a philosopher, I welcome Dawkins' recognition that ID theorists are building upon are building upon solid foundation. Science is the honest, systematic endeavour to find out the truth about the real world. Since the only good reason to believe in evolution is because the evidence supports it, we should abandon it overright if new evidence arose to disprove it. The presence or absence of a creative superintelligence is unequivocally a scientific question. If it is not in practice or not yet a decided one, the method we should use to settle the matter would be purely and entirely scientific methods. Patterns exhibiting specified complexity are reliable indicators of intelligent design. Metronomic rhythms can be generated by many non-intelligent phenomena. Nothing simply, simply rhythmic then would announce our intelligent presence to the waiting universe. Prime numbers are often mentioned as the recipe of choice since it is difficult to think of a purely physical process that could generate them. Irreducible complexity provides a valid scientific test of Darwinism. Maybe there is something out there in nature that really does precise preclude by its genuinely irreducible complexity. The smooth gradients of Mount Improbable, if genuinely irreducible complexity could be properly demonstrated, it would wreck Darwinian theory. Darwin himself said as much, genuine irreducible complexity would wreck Darwinian theory if it were ever found. Of course, Dawkins thinks that no specified or irreducible complexity has yet been discovered in prehistory. ID theories such as myself disagree with his assessment of the evidence, but at least we are agreed that the above theoretical foundations of ID are sound and that the crucial question is whether or not the evidence justifies a design inference. Dawkins, Dawkins' arguments for thinking the evidence lacking, it has to be said, are no more impressive than the big bad wolf's attempt to blow any away, uh, to blow away the house of bricks. So that's an article by um, Peter uh, Williams Files. And it's a, a very, very, very deep, very, very scholarly article with a lot of references. So what do you think of the article? Uh, there's two articles, and uh, I'll leave them there for discussion. Um, do you think the writer is putting words into Dawkins' mouth? Um, <coughs> what I do think is I do think that there is a concerted political and scientific effort to stop people doing research in intelligent design. And if it's possible that if some information about creation shows intelligent design, and if it's possible to do research in that, and if that research was to be found and it could overturn Darwinian thinking, then surely there should be a search for that information. To not posit a search for that information 
shows there's a lack of real scientific inquiry in not wanting to go down that line of research. If one knows that, if, the, if Darwin knew and if a scientist knows that if there was certain information found that contradicted the theory of evo uh, the evolutionary model, then if there is a possibility of finding that information, then research should be conducted in, in, that, in that area. If valid, if, if people can produce creative hypotheses to go out and research and test them. But it, I just think because there is a lack of desire by scientists to go down this route, I can't honestly see how that can be objective. I just can't see it. I just, I just can't see the. I, I see a lack of objectivity. But that's what I think. Um, you know, I just, I just do. Um, but please inform me. Please tell me why I'm wrong. Please tell me what to think. I don't know, but there we are. That's what I think. There's two scholarly articles here, very in-depth research, and I'll leave them with you. Please let me know what you think.